First into the tank tonight is a brother-sister-sister team with a business that's taking on one of the sharks at their own game. Samantha. Hey, I'm Samantha. I'm Rose. And I'm Kesa. And we're three siblings from Sydney who are here to offer the sharks a sweet deal that they won't be able to resist. Our product is an absolute game changer and it's going to disrupt the entire gift giving industry. So more orders means we need a bigger warehouse, especially for our big occasions where we were at capacity this year. Um, so we're looking at moving as soon as we can. You want some lahan <laughs> bhaji? We've worked hard to be able to retire our parents and do the best for the next generation. I need a holiday. <laughs> We'd love a deal with the Sharks because we're ready to expand our business nationally and internationally. We've been discussing which shark we would go with, but to be honest, every one of those sharks has built an empire. So we would be open to any shark wanting to join our little Lebanese family. So possible. we're looking for a sibling and an investor. Yes. Hey Sharks, my name's Samantha. I'm Rose. And I'm Kesa. And together we're three siblings from Sydney who are the founders and owners of dessertboxes.com.au, an online dessert gift giving store here to innovate and disrupt the gift giving industry. We're here seeking $300,000 in exchange for a 10% share in our business. And here is your own surprise dessert box delivery. All right, hey, 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 who gets it first? <laughs> Thank you very much. Squeaky wheel gets the most oil. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank so Dessert you. Boxes was born out of our frustration of just having to send and receive boring gifts that will end up dying, being thrown away, never Thank used you. or at best re-gifted. So we took it upon ourselves to create Dessert Boxes and Donut Bouquets as a fun alternative to gifts and to begin our war against boring gifts. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Mine says, we don't know what we would do without you. <laughs> Mine says, donut, give up on us. Oh. <laughs> Mine's just straight up, want to give us some dough. <laughs> <laughs> Mine, don't go breaking our hearts. Oh. Stephen, with the program, yours says some words. Um, we like you a whole lot. Oh, it does not say that. It does. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Through our use of social media, we've been able to build an engaged community of over 130,000 people and sell over 30,000 boxes in Sydney Ooh. in our first year alone. And we've recently just expanded the brand into Melbourne. So, Sharks, who wants to be our fourth adopted sibling and help us expand this all around Australia and the world? Man, well done on the pitch. Fantastic. Um, sorry, I put that down. <laughs> <laughs> um, 300 grand, 10%, 3 million bucks. Good valuation. Yep. Well done. You're a family. Why would you start this business as a family? What was the deal there? We're first generation Australian. Um, our parents migrated from Lebanon 35 years ago with not a single dollar in their pocket. And for us, we've always known we've wanted to give back to our parents and show them that the sacrifice that they made for us was worth it at the end. So we left our corporate jobs. Um, we always knew we were going to do something together. We didn't know what though. So what were the corporate jobs? So I was a HR and IR manager. I was a marketing coordinator. And I've got operations background. Oh, that so was very you went convenient. out and practised elsewhere before you started your own job. Very great. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> so why are you taking on a partner that's not family? Because, you know, that could cause some challenges. We've had this argument, I mean, no, this conversation on numerous occasions, and we're very much aware that we only know what we know. But more than anything, we know each one of you knows how to run a business. For us, it's not necessarily the extensive backgrounds that you may have in those certain areas, but it's how do you get a business from where we started, in a garage, to where it can be, which is what we want to be on a global scale. Take us through the numbers, can you? In our first year of business for Dessert Boxes, we did just over $2 million in sales. Nice. How much? $2 million. Just um, say that slowly, will you? <laughs> $2 million. Yes. Come on. You've got to let it hang. <laughs> From that, we grossed 1.25 and we netted $810,000. <laughs> How is you like them apples? OK, that's looking more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> now Just you've got our attention. I'm now listening. We should have started with that. <laughs> so, so calendar year 2018, what are we going to do? Yeah, so, so for our second year of business, um, we're forecasting to make just a little over six million. Oh, come on um, now. Because Come we are launching now. into Melbourne, which we've launched last month, right. and we're also planning to launch into Queensland. Impressive first year in business. That's phenomenal. So what is not working? What are your weaknesses that you're hoping 
one of us may help you with. Yeah. So growth has always been stagnant. So it took us 12 months to move from Sydney to Melbourne, where we anticipated it was going to be three on, months. You've, just done, you've done two million <laughs> sales in your first year. We're into your second year and you're worried about growth. We're very ambitious. Cash in the bank? Currently? Yeah, yeah. Do you mean in terms of... How what? much cash do you have in the bank? 1.4. 1.4 bricks in the bank right now. What are you doing here? <laughs> Who's your competitor? Well, we, we see anybody in the gift giving industry as a competitor of ours, and we've why been. Why did you look at me when you said that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wonder why. <laughs> you know, there, there are a lot of other companies out there that deliver boxes of stuff. What, why are you winning so well? Well, look, we're constantly innovating. Um, so we definitely do things not only better, but we definitely do it differently. So, for example, we've launched a finger where you can send somebody the finger to let them know what you really think of Seriously? them. Show me a finger. I would like to I see, want to see a finger. Leave it close so you get the element of surprise. Okay. <laughs> Give us a look. <laughs> Show us. No. <laughs> <laughs> to the dearest darling oh, TV. No. With <laughs> <laughs> There you go. <laughs> oh. Very nice. I'll take Just that. For Thank you. you very much. Oh, the finger. <laughs> You're all shareholders, equal shareholders? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'll give you 300,000 for 25%. Yeah. I want to be an equal shareholder. I'll make you an offer. Uh, $300,000 for 20%. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to make you an offer, which is $300,000 for 15%. I've got four million gifters, and I just know that there's many gifting occasions that we don't serve them on, and I really think that we could therefore be very complimentary. Thank you. I am happy to throw an offer out there. So we've got a network of pet stores to, what, 300, a network of vet hospitals to 200. What's that got to do with their business? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do for them? Fast, they can do a doggy box. Let tools. him speak. Let him have his say. Come on. So what I've done is make sure we have great tools to manage growth, and that's what I'll apply here. And by the way, since the noisy one beside me is annoying me, I will match her offer. Ooh. So 300k for 15%. It doesn't matter what industry you're in, but if you're going out of control, you're going to blow it up. Yeah. And then there was Steve. I want to make money out of you, be quite blunt. Um, I'll make you an offer at uh, 300k for 10%. Uh, I'm going to treat it like a strict financial investment. If you make a lot of money, I'll make a lot of money. There you go, about as mercenary as you get. So let's just summarise where we're at. Steve has offered you what you asked for, 300,000 for 10%. Janine has offered you 20%. I've offered you 25%. And Glenn and Naomi have offered you 15%. So you've got five offers, well done. That doesn't happen very often. <laughs> the sharks are really circling. Can we have you all? <laughs> no. No. Definitely not. We don't play well together. We'd tear each other apart. Do you need to have a chat? Yeah, yes, Do you mind if we have a... Don't Thank take you. too long. No, don't take too long. <laughs> Choppy waters. <laughs> I believe them. I think they'll... I think they'll go over three million next year. How about Glenn, Andrew or Janine? Or is it just between Naomi and Steve? I feel like it's between Naomi and Steve and I'm leaning more towards Naomi. You cannot deny their sales and their profit. I mean, seriously. Bloody good, right? Crank the handle, turn the money out. Spit, spit dollars out. But I'm leaning towards Steve. I don't know why. Yeah. I'm feeling yeah. Steve because he just wants to make money. Yeah. Yeah. But it's Naomi. Like she owns Red Balloon. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for your offers. We actually were not expecting you all, so it was a really tough decision. Let's just summarise where we're at. Steve has offered you what you asked for, 300,000 for 10%. Janine has offered you 20%. I've offered you 25%. And Glenn and Naomi have offered you 15%. So what are you going to do? Samantha, you're the decision maker <laughs> well, here. I this choose. is when it's not her decision. <laughs>
we wanted to ask Naomi. Would you accept 12%? What about my offer? <laughs> You're way out of the money, Andrew. I think that means I'm, I've Would got to know. <laughs> You're way out of the money. We really want you to be our sister. <laughs> <laughs> We're the best investment you'll make. <laughs> OK. I'm in. Welcome to the family. Oh, my gosh! I've got three oh. of siblings! Such an obvious play. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> She's got an amazing hit. Right. You'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Darling. Good job. Yeah, you've done a great job today. Well done. Thanks a lot, guys. Well done. Well done. All the best. Thank you. That was going to be three times cash, maybe maybe two times cash. Yeah. So that so was, that was a, a bloody good deal. I'm gutted. <laughs> Five sharks fighting over us is actually a great feeling. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so confident now. <laughs> if you could syndicate people and then say, I want to buy 10% of all the money you make in the next 30 years, I would have bought shares in those three. Well, we have another sister. <laughs> I've, got another, I've got a big sister. <laughs> Quite often there's a lot of competition from us for deals in the tank. There are a couple I'm a bit peeved I've missed over the years. I, I don't buy everything in the world, but if it's making money, I'll surely invest in it.